It's starting to look a lot like Christmas at the Magic Kingdom. Everyone, it's Herb from World of Walt, and welcome to another live broadcast from the Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida. It is a windy, slightly chilly Saturday morning here in early November at the Magic Kingdom, 68 degrees on the way up to 78. And the Magic Kingdom has begun its transformation to Christmas time. You can see the garland hanging up at the Main Street USA train station. The Disney 100 logo in the front. Lots of people signing up or queuing up to get their photos here today. And the new Mickey Topiary looking good. Very Christmassy. Lynn and Gerald, hello and good morning to you. Mark, good morning to you in Wesley Chapel. Denise, hello. Today, Disney got my $27 and I have a Genie Plus reservation for the Jingle Cruise. The Jungle Cruise with the Christmas time overlay, so looking forward to that. I always enjoy a few corny jokes along the way. Very much looking forward to seeing the Christmas decorations here on Main Street, USA. Goodbye, Halloween, and hello, Christmas time. Michael, hello to you. Paul, good morning. Nice to see you. Thank you for joining. Welcome to Main Street, USA. You can see the buildings have garland up can see that the Main Street USA Christmas tree is up in all its beautiful glory. Looks great. Let's take just a second to take in some of the decorations here at the Magic Kingdom. Uh, Main Street USA especially seems to transform lots of garland here at City Hall and the Santa meet and greet over here. Uh, you might be able to see the sign which says 51 days to Christmas. I can't believe the countdown is on. Uh, only 51 days to go. You might be able to see that sign in there. Uh, 51 days, yep. Dawn, good morning to you. Always fun to see all of the details that have gone into the decorations here at the Magic Kingdom. Disney always does an amazing job. Let's see. Candy. I can see cookies, I can see poinsettias, I can see gingerbread, I can see, uh, I think those are suckers, looks good. Bonnie, good morning to you in Maine, going to be here December 11th, that's going to be here before you know it. Sue has five weeks to go. Tammy's saying it's time for a plug for the Pin of the Month Club. Tammy, thank you so much. You win the award, my undying appreciation for prompting what is sure to be an annoyingly large number of shameless plugs for the Pin of the Month Club. If you or anyone you know would like to get a little bit of Disney fun delivered to your home every single month, check out pinofthemonthclub.com. Maria from Melbourne, nice to see you, hello. All right, City Hall is looking great. All decked out for Christmas time, beautiful red ribbons on the building and the garland. Peggy says, makes me want to go to the confectionery. Yes, Christmas time, anytime is a good time to go to the confectionery. Andrea from Alberta. Looking good here, looking good. Brett says, oh, lots of people through that Jingle Cruise are getting charged for food, not just the holidays. Sorry, I kind of missed the message. Debbie says, let Christmas begin. I'm with you, Debbie. Iona says her pin is in the mail. She's excited. Iona, thank you for being a member of the Pin of the Month Club. I appreciate your support. Glad you look forward to your Disney magic each month. The toy soldiers are back here in the planters. Hopefully they will be part of the Christmas time parade. Once upon a Christmas time parade. Typically takes place just during the Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Parade, uh, excuse me, Very Merry Christmas Party, uh, but then also between the weeks, or, or right between uh, Christmas and New Year's, uh, is shown daily in the park as well. Mary Ellen says, very beautiful, I agree. Susan, hello to you in South Florida, very pretty as well. Karen says, girly loves the club, Karen, thank you for that. A really good morning to you in Biloxi, Mississippi. 393 days to go. Awesome. Ellen says, loves the countdown calendar. Ellen, thank you so much for purchasing that. 
Uh, thanks to the hard work of Topher and all the contributions of people here in the World of Walt community. You can get your own paper-based countdown calendar to count down the number of days before your next Walt Disney World trip, up to 365 days. Check it out at MagicalCountdown.com. Elmer, Merry Christmas to you. Ashley said, thanks for sharing, glad to do so. Not only are the Christmas decorations out, the Christmas music is playing as well. Always fun to hear. Robert, thank you for watching. Happy Saturday to you. Bernadette, hello to you in Philadelphia. Ronnie's going to be here for Christmas. It is a great time to visit. Usually a little cool, at least by Florida standards, but not by Northern standards. Busiest time of the year, typically between Christmas and New Year's. Bring your patience, but it's an exciting place to be for sure. Tanya says the decorations look amazing. They certainly do a great job. Christmas tree, beautiful. Decorations look great during the day, even better at night. Susan's got 76 degrees. She's normally a couple degrees up on us, 68 here. But we're on the way up to 78, so let's go warm up a bit. Phyllis says, loves the Magic Kingdom all decked out. Me too. Sherry, hello to you. Happy Saturday. And let me be one of the first to wish you all a very Merry Christmas season. Carol, hello in New Jersey. All right, one of the best views on the planet to walk right down the middle of Main Street, USA. We're going to not just run down Main Street. We're going to take our time and savor it. We're going to check out some of the Christmas decorations and the details. Denise says people walking in shorts. <laughs> She's freezing. It is. It's a nice day here. Uh, for a, a Floridian, maybe a tad bit chilly, but the sun feels good and it's going to warm up. It's a beautiful time to be here in Southern Florida. All right, I love these Mickey wreaths that are on the lamp posts here. Yeah, I don't know if this is a Mickey wreath exactly, but uh, it's a wreath for sure, beautifully. The lanterns hanging off the side, a pineapple in the middle, very Victorian. Quite a luxury in the Victorian days to be able to get a pineapple. Glenda says, a perfect weather day for Disney. That it is. Howard, hello to you. Bernadette says, it's crowded. crowded. It does feel kind of crowded here in the Magic Kingdom. I think a lot of people are coming in to check out the Christmas decorations. And honestly, it's just a gorgeous day to be here. John says, let's amble down Main Street USA. Love the word. That is exactly what we are going to do. Bruce, hello to you in Dallas. Hope you're having a good Saturday. Thanks for being here early in the morning for you. So in addition to all of the decorations hanging on the buildings, Disney has also transformed the windows in the shops here in the Emporium. Highlighting both some merchandise and some Christmas decorations. Very cool, lots of bows, boxes. Hey, the Mickey wreath up in the top. That's a definite Mickey wreath right there. A little display here in the window with some presents. Very cozy looking. Cool. Ashley says, when do they start with the Christmas decorations? Uh, so it was such a huge uh, park and so much area to, to decorate. It does roll out over a bit of time. But pretty much as soon as the last Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween party ends, Halloween comes down and the Magic Kingdom, especially Main Street USA, pretty much transforms overnight. Uh, now, not everything happens in one night, but it sure does feel like it, and it is amazing. There's a whole crew of people here at Walt Disney World who are responsible full-time, all year round, for managing the, the decorations. Uh, Christmas time is an especially busy time for them. Cindy, hello to you in Louisiana. Hope you're doing well. Karen, hello. Take just a second to admire the details in the garland here at the Emporium. Lots of Christmas balls, flowers, lights. Michelle says, is it time for a shameless plug for the Pin of the Month Club? Michelle, thank you. 
The answer to that question is always yes, and today you win the award, my undying appreciation for prompting yet another of an unlimited count of shameless plugs for the Pin of the Month Club. If you or anyone you know in the United States of America would like a little bit of Disney fun over to your home every single month, check out PinOfTheMonthClub.com. Eugene, hello to you in Cincinnati. You're going to be here on October 25th. Awesome. Less than a year away. Speaking of Cincinnati, over at Flamingo Crossings, the west side development on Disney property. Skyline Chili is getting ready to open. I have been monitoring the progress very carefully. Skyline, a Cincinnati tradition. I have not had it in years, and I cannot wait to try it again. D, good morning to you in sunny San Diego, California. Thank you for spending some of your early California morning with me. John, thanks for putting the link to the Pin of the Month Club and as well the WorldOfWildStore.com. Over at WorldOfWildStore.com, you can get links not only to the Pin of the Month Club, but also to the T-shirt shop and the Magical Countdown calendar. Beth, hello to you. Tamara, good morning. All right, the wreaths hanging off the buildings with the big candles looks great. So in the past, Disney would string garland all the way across Main Street, USA. But two issues with that. One is it kind of blocked the view of the castle. Uh, but the other is that uh, some of the parade units could not get through that. So now Disney's got the wreaths that hang off the side of the buildings. I actually like it a lot better. Jeff Free says, are we going right to the Jungle Cruise there? Santa jokes just slay me. <laughs> We are going to the Jungle Cruise. It is 1018 here. I need to get there by 1030 when my Disney Genie Plus extortion, I mean, uh, cost uh, uh, reservation uh, is, is uh, over. So on my way. Sorry, did I say that out loud? Cindy Lou, hello to you. Most magical time of the year for sure. All right, the castle stage show going on. Always fun. I would typically stop and watch for a bit because I love it. But today we need to go. Missy, hello to you. Debbie says, Christmas time is favorite season to be in the Magic Kingdom, especially Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. Oh, it's so much fun. Gail, hello to you. Eugene, hello. Discovering new dreams. That's an adventure for sure. Uh -huh. Trying something new. I'm having a sweet I only shared time. the video, so you friends need some Saturday Disney you. magic. I wanna thank you so much for doing that. Always uh, appreciate the comments, the likes, especially the shares. Great way to get the word out. It's a great encouragement to me, and because of that, sometimes I get the opportunity to do things with nice folks at Disney Media Relations, so thank you so much. <laughs> All right, here we go. Reef looks amazing. Gerald asked we're doing the people mover. Uh, today the plan is to go over to the Jingle Cruise. We'll see how things go from there. This heat, it is 69 degrees. I actually remembered my watch today. Kathy's going to see the gingerbread house this morning. I can't wait to see that myself over at the Grand Floridian. Ronnie says, loves the music. Me too. Arlene says, thanks for a little trip on the Magic Kingdom this morning. So happy to do it. Thank you for being here with me. Terry says, needs to get back to Walt Disney World. Bill says, how about a cheeseburger spring roll straight ahead? It's like they're, are they open? I guess they're open. There's just no one in line. Normally there's a line stretching out quite a bit. Maybe they're still getting things set up here. Uh, I guess that means they're not open. Debbie, hello to you. Hi, welcome to Adventureland. 
Here he says, loves the Jungle Cruise. Me too. It's been a little bit since I've been on it. And this is my first time this year going as the Jingle Cruise. Cindy is craving a citrus swirl. This is the place to get it for sure. Brian says, it's a fact that people walk faster when it's cold. That's interesting. Someone said, the Club 33 on the right, a cool place. I, you know, I have never been. I would love an opportunity to check it out. If anyone can hook me up and get me into Club 33, that would be like a dream come true. Maureen, hello to you. Judy, good morning in Cincinnati. Says, loves what I do. Thank you so much. Appreciate your joining me, and thank you for the kind comments. Hey, Larry. This is a great place to start the day. Tanya says, Jingle Cruise. Jungle Cruise. Disney music from the show is amazing. Jamie said in 2010, she froze in December. You know, the, the winter times in Florida can be kind of variable. We usually get at least a couple days during the year when it freezes here in Central Florida overnight. Typically, it's in the middle of the night, and then the sun comes out and things warm up. But it can be cool, especially when the sun goes down. Uh, so December, January, February, if you're going to be here, be sure to dress in or always check the forecast. Uh, because while it will probably be warmer, especially during the day, than maybe temperatures you might remember up north, it still can get chilly. Mary Jo, hello to you in Phoenix. Thank you for being here. Melissa saying, how about a plug for the shirts? Melissa, thank you so much. You can head over to worldofwaltstore.com and check out all the designs for the shirts. Lots of fun. Hi, how are you? Hey, thanks. We follow you every week. Thanks so much for watching. Can I take a photo? Yeah, sure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good trip. That was fun. Frida, good morning to you in Georgia. Going to be here in May. Hope you have a good time. All right. Timing's working out pretty good here. It's 1024. Need to be in there by 1030. But I have to stop and look here at the, the statues because they are smoking. Okay, I'm going to try not to get squirted. But I am just attracted to the smoke effect here. I don't know that I've seen this. Maybe it's a mist effect. Working for a while, that's totally cool. Totally cool. Patty says I'm famous. I guess I'm micro-famous. Like, not really. But thank you for the nice comment. Judy says I hope winter doesn't freeze the broadcast. You never know what's going to happen with the internet here. Andrea, 48 balmy degrees from New York. Wow. Karen says World of Walt fans are great. I completely agree with you. And I am uh, so blessed to have such a nice set of folks who uh, follow and watch along. And yeah, it's just great. Thank you. Thank you all for being awesome. Tracy, hello to you. It would be a treat to see me on a vacation. You know, if you are ever uh, in the park where I am, I'm always, I'm always just uh, thrilled and honored when people take a moment to stop and say hi. All right, let's see if the $27 works. Magic, yes. Okay, so there are some Christmas decorations not only in the attraction, but also in the queue. You can see a very tropical-looking Christmas tree there. I can see over to the right, Christmas lights strung up, very cool. And I can see a Santa and some Christmas decorations over a little hut across the way. Candy King, Kanye, I think it's kind of fun how Disney renames all the ships temporarily. That's cool. Marianne says, broadcast help her to relive some of the best times ever. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Russ, hello to you. James says, looking forward to the Jingle Cruise. Me too. Let's get some 
numbers in his spirit for sure. Okay. Here we go, a lost sailing. I don't know what wassailing is or lost sailing, but it's kind of Christmasy, it's very fun. It says, love when they switch to the Jingle Cruise, me too. You know, it's one of those things they don't really have to do, but it's kind of fun. And this is especially nice because it's not like it requires extended downtime. It's not some big technological marvel. It's just fun. Barbie says, it's Elvis singing Blue Christmas. That's a classic if you remember her one before. This is a long line already, for sure. Peggy says she's been on the Jungle Cruise, but never the Jingle Cruise. It's kind of fun. The Christmas overlay. Hello to you. Robert says the backside of Christmas water. That's awesome. Well, I think we might get to see the backside of water. Tommy says a cool ride with his. Big Zelda. How fun is that? Cindy in Bellevue, Ohio, where it is 40 chilly degrees. That sounds like winter time has arrived. Paul says, try to catch the dapper dancing. I love the dapper dancing. Great part of Main Street, you say. All right, so I sit there and uh, very fun. This looks like our chariot. Here we go, we'll watch sailing.
uh, the Amazon rainforest. And if you look around, you're going to see some of our local humbugs. You can recognize them by their call.
Santa and leave my presents. Love it. She saved the best Christmas time joke for last. Cindy, hello to you. So that was fun. A little bit hard to hear, but yeah, I generally got the idea. Always fun to see the Christmas time overlay at the Jingle Cruise. Complete with Jingle Cruise sign. Standby wait time right now, 65 minutes. I think it was about the same when we got here. Hello, Emmy. Good morning to you. Hope you're having a good Saturday morning. Karen says it was super fun. Let's take a little stroll over towards Liberty Square before we wrap up for today. Been a fun broadcast. Had a chance to walk right down the middle of Main Street, USA, and see all the beautiful Christmas decorations, including the huge tree on Town Square. Little stroll through Adventureland and some corny dad jokes on the Jingle Cruise. Always fun. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Jackie, good morning to you. Jody said, so fun. Marie, hello to you. Welcome to the live broadcast. Good to see you. Excuse me. Crystal said, why the long wait? I think a lot of people are coming to check out the Jingle Cruise because of the new overlay and the new set of jokes. It's fun. I mean, it's the same ride. It's the same animatronics. It's the same vehicle. Uh, but just with a little bit of a Christmas twist on it, it's cool. Ron says, time for a Dole Whip. Ron, that sounds pretty good to me. I have to stop. Everybody's voting for the uh, Dole Whip. <laughs> Peggy said, Liberty Square makes her want turkey and gravy. It's Thanksgiving every day of the year at Liberty Square Inn. Great place to have a meal. Pirates of the Caribbean over here to our left. Uh, we'll take a peek at uh, the transformation of Splash Mountain into Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Not a lot that we can see from the outside given the construction fences, but we'll take a peek. You can see some of the transformation of the mountain itself. And then we'll head back over to Liberty Square. Michael says, the long way around as we are wont to do. 40 minute standby wait time for Pirates of the Caribbean. Stefan, hello to you. Pat from Lakeland, not too far away. Nice to see you. Thanks for being here. Roxette says, thanks for the ride. You are so welcome. Debbie says, Coconut Dole Whip is a favorite. Do they have coconut dole whip here? I don't know that I've seen or had that before, but it sounds amazing. Kind of sounds like a uh, drink meets ice cream. Marta says, thanks for the ride. You are welcome. Tina says, awesome food. Yummy, yummy. Agree with you there. 
All right, straight up ahead, Tiana's Bayou Adventure. You can see a lot of the scaffolding is up as Disney continues its transformation of Splash Mountain. Kind of looking forward to this attraction. I think it's going to be fun. Susan says, loves the walk. Susan, thank you so much. I appreciate your being here so consistently. It's always good to see your comments and spend some Saturday morning time with you. Karen's voting for the Country Bear Jamboree. Country Bear is going to be getting a bit of a Disney 5 makeover. One of the announcements that Disney made recently. Looking forward to what that's going to be like. So you can see, even here on a Saturday morning, some construction workers are out on Tiana's Bio Adventure. You might be able to see them up towards the top of the mountain with the yellow safety jackets on. Uh, Disney has been transforming the exterior of the mountain. There used to be a tree at the very top, which is now gone. A lot of the greenery has been changing over. Disney's released some press release photographs of the mural art that's going on some of the buildings inside. The water tower is new as well. It says Tiana's Foods, an employee-owned co-op. Very cool. So yeah, it's looking good. Looking good. Sandra, hello to you. All right, the music and the mood have changed here. Welcome to Frontierland, which we were in a couple minutes ago, but I'm just noticing music right now. Crystal said, no more fast passes. Nope. Goodbye, fast pass. May you rest in peace. Hello, Genie Plus. Although Disney has made some generalized announcements, they're going to be making changes to the, the Genie Plus program where you can probably make some reservations in advance. Let's we'll see what happens. John says, can we get a Disney a DS, a Disney Spring Stroll? Um, yeah, so on my general list, not confirmed, maybe will happen plan. Uh, one thing I want to do is make my way over to the Polynesian and the Grand Floridian on a future broadcast. Um, so probably start off with the Polynesian, check out the Christmas tree and decorations there. Take a walk over to the Grand Floridian and take in the gingerbread house as well as the decorations in that resort. So that's one thing I would definitely like to do this Christmas time season from a broadcast perspective. Also hope to um, make my way over to Disney Springs. I may do a nighttime bonus broadcast at some point because I think it would be especially great to see all of the many different Christmas trees that have been put up at Disney Springs. There used to be a Christmas tree walk, and I think in the past couple of years, probably this year as well, uh, the trees are not sort of consolidated into one area, but rather spread out so you can go and just uh, stumble upon them, find them all. They all have very unique designs, beautifully created. Crystal said, great at night for sure. Hi, Shirley. Happy Saturday to you. Sandy said, we'd love to see the Grand Floridian and the Poly. Very good. Arlene said, nighttime would be awesome. Very good. John says, nighttime would be great as well. Okay, so it's, uh, it's sketched in. Debbie would say, said, we'd love to see the stroll through the Christmas tree trail. Ron says, how about a stroll at the resort? Missy said, nighttime walk would be nice. Robert says, great way to celebrate Christmas. All right, so it seems like a done deal. Just need to make it happen. Hey, some of the country bears are out. everyone before my battery dies or I tempt fate too much with internet connection I think that's going to wrap it up for today thank you so much for joining me today from the Magic Kingdom live at the Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando Florida I had a chance to walk down the middle of Main Street USA check out all the Christmas decorations the quick transformation from Halloween time to Christmas time is just amazing a uh, real tribute to the folks here at Disney I also had a chance to check out the Jingle Cruise with only one minor blip in internet connectivity. It was a little bit hard to hear, but still fun. 
Uh, it's a fun overlay and a great way to kick off the Christmas time season. Uh, so we are just one month and a day away from the the, the uh, preview, or actually the opening, the grand opening of uh, Loomis, the new nighttime spectacular over at Epcot. Opens up on December 5th. I have a park pass reservation and plan to be there that night. May not tempt doing it live broadcast because my guess is that it won't work, that the internet connection will be overloaded there, uh, but may do a video and post it. Uh, so looking forward to that. Uh, it's always exciting to see a brand new nighttime spectacular at Walt Disney World. Also, um, that is the day when World Celebration is supposed to be formally and officially wrapped up and open. I'm not sure all the buildings in World Celebration are going to be finished, but maybe the exterior walkways and landscaping are going to be in place. It will be exciting to see all of that. As always, thank you so much for joining me. I uh, always appreciate the comments, the likes, the shares. Uh, shares are an especially good way to get the word out, and it's a great encouragement to me. I hope that you all have a wonderful Saturday and a great Christmas time season this year. And until next time, God bless.